Hello, adventurous souls, ready to set sail on an extraordinary adventure much like the Odyssey, but swapping mythical sea beasts for personal growth? We're not just ambling through a garden of life, but hopping on a thrilling roller coaster, complete with exhilarating highs and daunting lows, all while grappling with those stubborn habits clinging to us tighter than a wet t-shirt. Yes, we're zeroing in on those sneaky culprits that sneakily thwart our path to becoming the heroes of our own stories. Exciting news, we're about to confront them boldly, armed with age-old wisdom that's still as catchy and relevant as the latest hit on TikTok. So, strap in and prepare for takeoff. We're about to soar into the world of Stoicism. Picture this, Zeno of Sidium, an ancient Greek thinker, poised at the dawn of the 3rd century BC, a pivotal moment in history. In his hands, he holds not just a torch, but the very essence of Stoicism, a philosophy that shines like a steadfast lighthouse through the mists of time, illuminating our way in the often confusing journey of modern existence. This enduring philosophy, rich with ageless insights, invites us to channel our efforts towards what's truly in our power, nurturing virtues such as wisdom, bravery, and self-control. It's an invitation to meet life's roller coaster, with its twists, turns, and loop-de-loops, with a calm spirit and a resilience that doesn't waver no matter how bumpy the ride gets. As we set off on this exhilarating expedition to dig up those seven sneaky habits that secretly sap our strength, let's not forget, the golden ticket to change is self-awareness. It's like having a flashlight in a dark cave, illuminating those hidden nooks where these habits lurk. By spotting and owning up to these habits, we're gearing up for a thrilling adventure of swapping them out for some rock-solid stoic strategies. These aren't just any old principles. They're the kind that turbocharge our lives with power, direction, and a kind of inner calm that's as comforting as a warm blanket on a chilly night. Get ready to transform into the mightiest version of yourself. It's transformation time. Habit one, procrastination, the thief of time. Imagine chilling in ancient Athens, sipping on some fine wine, and then you remember you have a chariot race tomorrow, but you're like, meh, I'll just train later. That, my friends, is procrastination, the art of delaying until you're in panic mode. But fear not. Stoicism tells us to seize the day. It's all about embracing the now, even if it's as uncomfortable as wearing socks with sandals. So let's break those chains of procrastination and start living like there's no tomorrow. Because, well, technically there isn't. Truly, procrastination is born from staring too long at the what-ifs and oh knows of our tasks, instead of diving headfirst into action. By embracing the stoic superpower of focusing on the journey, not just the destination, we can smash those procrastination shackles. It's all about baby steps, set small achievable goals, and stick to them like glue. Lean into the now, even when it feels uncomfortable. Habit two, negative self-talk, the inner adversary. Now let's waltz into the amphitheater of the mind where our inner critic is louder than a rock concert. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher king, reminds us that our life is shaped by our thoughts. If your inner voice is more pessimistic than a rain cloud, it's time to switch gears. Let's channel our inner stoic and turn that self-criticism into self-high fives. Remember, talking to yourself negatively is like pineapple on pizza. Some people swear by it, but it's not for everyone. In the amphitheater of the mind, begin by observing your thoughts without judgment. Notice when self-criticism or self-doubt creeps in and challenge these malevolent intruders with the sword of rationality. Interrogate these thoughts and ask yourself whether they are grounded in evidence or are mere phantoms conjured by fear and insecurity. Stoicism, a benevolent mentor, encourages us to practice self-compassion. 
treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer to a friend facing a similar situation. Instead of berating yourself for mistakes or perceived shortcomings, focus on what can be gleaned from these experiences and how you can emerge stronger. Habit 3. Seeking External Validation – The Approval Trap Stuck in the shadow of the Acropolis, ever feel like you're fishing for compliments or likes on your latest selfie? That's the trap of external validation. Stoicism teaches us to look inward for approval. Kind of like giving yourself a mental thumbs up. Let's stop tying our self-worth to what others think. Instead, let's become our own biggest fans. Recognize the futility of seeking validation from external sources. Understand that no matter how hard you strive, you cannot control the opinions of others. Invest your energies in cultivating virtues such as wisdom, integrity, and kindness. Stoicism instructs us to align our actions with our values and principles rather than seeking the fleeting approval of others. When you act in accordance with your own moral compass, you'll find a profound sense of inner validation that transcends external praise. Habit 4. Complaining and the Habit of Helplessness Ever feel like you're on a complaining spree where everything's is wrong? Marcus Aurelius, our go-to Stoic guru, says that it's not the things themselves that upset us, but our views of them. So, next time you're about to complain about your coffee being too hot, remember it's just a steamy bean juice that you can choose to enjoy. Let's switch that frown upside down and find the silver lining even if it's just tin foil. Stoicism teaches us to shift our perspective and take responsibility for our reactions and attitudes, regardless of the circumstances. It's not the events themselves that inflict stress upon us, but rather our interpretations of those events. Complaining about external circumstances only serves to reinforce a mindset of powerlessness and discontent. To break free from the grip of complaining, practice gratitude and perspective shifting. Instead of dwelling on what you lack or what is amiss, focus on what you possess and what is flourishing. Stoicism encourages us to embrace the inherent unpredictability of life and to cultivate emotional resilience in the face of adversity. By reframing your perspective and taking ownership of your reactions, you will find that the chains of complaint are broken and you can confront life's challenges with a newfound sense of empowerment. Habit 5. Indulging in excessive materialism, the pursuit of hollow pleasures. Ah, materialism, the endless chase for the next shiny thing. Seneca, our stoic financial advisor, suggests we find joy in the simple things, like a perfect avocado. Let's ditch the buy more, be more mindset and find richness in experiences, not just our shopping carts. Begin by practicing contentment with your current possessions and circumstances. Recognize that the relentless pursuit of material possessions often engenders a cycle of insatiable desire and perpetual dissatisfaction. Redirect your focus towards cultivating virtues such as wisdom, courage, and kindness, for these are the wellsprings of true fulfillment. Habit 6. Avoiding Challenges The Comfort Zone Trap Epictetus, a stoic heavyweight, believed in embracing challenges, even if it means looking foolish. So let's get off our comfy couches of avoidance and dance in the reign of challenges. Stoicism isn't just an old philosophy. Think of it as your personal trainer, pushing you to flex those virtue muscles, resilience, patience, perseverance, especially when adversity throws a curveball. Faced with a challenge? That's your cue to turn on your inner superhero, nurturing these powers as you navigate through the storm. Trust in your awesome ability to adapt, evolve, and bloom. Stoicism isn't just about stepping out of your comfort zone. It's about strutting out, ready to transform trials into triumphs. This is where you transform from iron to steel, 
climbing the ladder to your own version of extraordinary. So, take that bold step. Your epic ascent awaits. Habit 7. Dwelling on the past. The chain of regret. Lastly, are you stuck in the past replaying mistakes like a bad movie marathon? Marcus Aurelius, our time-traveling stoic, says we have power over our minds, not outside events. The past is a great place to visit, but a lousy place to live. Pack your bags. Begin by acknowledging and accepting your past mistakes. Understand that making errors is an intrinsic facet of being human and does not diminish your worth or potential. Practice self-compassion and forgiveness, treating yourself with the same tenderness you would extend to a cherished friend. Stoicism encourages us to focus on the present moment and take meaningful actions toward our future goals and aspirations. Shift your gaze from the past to the present and you will unearth a renewed sense of purpose and the strength to craft a brighter future. As you journey through the seven habits that sap your strength, remember that transformation takes time and effort. Be patient with yourself and persistently infuse stoic principles into your daily life. With dedication and perseverance, you shall emerge from the clutches of these habits and lead a life brimming with purpose, resilience, and inner tranquility. And there you have it. It's time to say sayonara to procrastination, negative self-talk, the hunger for external validation, the symphony of complaints, the mirage of materialism, the comfort zone couch, and the haunted house of the past. Embrace these teachings, seize the day, carpe diem, and transform your life into an epic tale of strength, wisdom, and maybe even a little bit of humor. Remember, you're the captain of your ship, the master of your destiny, and the main character in your life's blockbuster. So, lights, camera, action. Transform your life with the power of stoicism, and while you're at it, why not share your journey with us? Drop a comment, hit that like button, and subscribe for more life-changing adventures. Your script is waiting to be written, and the pen is in your hands. Now go forth and be awesome. Thank you for watching.